This is where the magic happens. We'll brew three batches of beer in one vessel at the same time, and this is how we taste them. Works every time, and they always taste good. Downstairs in the Vermont Pub and Brewery, these craft beer connoisseurs have set up a 20 gallon experimental batch brewery that enables them to get a little crazy. We really push the edge on that. Some of the beers that we have made in the last year have been uh, licorice beers. Uh, we're doing a, a butter rum brown ale tonight. We've also done um, a chocolate stout where we partner with local businesses, in this case, Lake Champlain Chocolates. We also have on tap right now from last week's edition, a raspberry uh, chocolate stout, watermelon peach beers. We brewed a beer made from snow. We just had some very wild ideas and uh, we continue in that vein and, and it's been received very, very well. And this is actually the fun part of the job. We get to draw a sample. This is my first taste of the toasted coconut porter. Oh man, it's all there. Great beers, great burgers. I love coming in. Uh, it's a, a really cool spot to come grab a beer in Burlington. Thanks to microbrew legend Greg Noonan, who founded VPB in 1988 after lobbying the state to allow brew pubs. And once that legislation was passed, uh, we were in business. At first, some folks had to get used to the idea of craft beers. We were carving out a new niche, uh, doing specialty beers, uh, full malt brews, um, choice hops. We have uh, developed our own niche uh, in Burlington as one of the premier and cutting edge breweries, uh, constantly uh, exploring uh, n new styles, developing uh, new beers, remaining on the cutting edge of the, uh, the entire craft beer uh, movement. My favorite one was the Beetlejuice. They don't have it anymore, but I'm drinking the Irish Red. It's good. It's delicious. It's, um, it definitely is different with a little bit of rum. <laughs> yeah, it's like a light porter. Beer that I'm drinking was made right here in the building. That came out really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. VPB is located in the heart of downtown Burlington. In a building that had spit out so many businesses, it was assumed to be jinxed. And over the years, it has turned out to be a premier location. We have the best patio uh, for outside service uh, in any restaurant in Burlington. My favorite part is in the summer when they have the beer garden open. It's like awesome to come here with your friends and just hang out and listen to some music. The menu at Vermont Pub and Brewery consists of what they call populist cuisine, meaning there's a little something for everybody, and it's priced right. Fried food from like under $5. Come on now. Absolutely. Cheers. We offer homemade shepherd pie. We make our own uh, Vermont country meatloaf. We do a dish called uh, cockaliki pie. Fish and chips are delicious. Cheap, good food. To complement a roster of award winning beers, including Burley Irish Ale, which they've been serving since 88. Ah, oh, the Burley. My job is easy. I only continue the legacy of Greg. I only have to keep making sure it runs the way he had planned it to be. It's a raspberry sour mash that we make using 500 pounds of raspberries. It feels like Vermont. It was the first bar I ever came to, so it's my favorite. It's, it's all about the beer.